The Chief of Defense Staff, General Loki Irabo, has advised officers of the Joint Task Force Operation Delta Safe and personnel of other security agencies in the Niger Delta not to relent in maintaining peace in the region. General Irabo made this call during a visit to the headquarters of Operation Delta Safe in Igbogene, Yenogoa, Belarus State. Our correspondent Jesse Ese completes the report. <laughs> This is General Loki Irabos maiden visit to the Joint Tax Force in the South South code named Operation Delta Safe. The Chief of Defense Staff is grateful to the JTF commander and his men for working tirelessly to ensure there is peace and security in the region. The visit is meant to serve as a morale booster to the officers and to also provide an interactive session with those involved in the exploration of Nigeria's oil and gas resources. General Irabo hopes to have more of such meetings. Meeting primarily one to speak to the commander. I can assure you is that um, the certainly have to be scale up of um, what you, you now see. They've done incredibly well. I must say, and of course that will be sustained, and in the near future we will see a near zero um, incident regarding uh, both insecurity and also uh, the theft. General Loki Irabo uses the avenue to inspect ongoing projects in the OPDS headquarters and commissions a newly built gymnasium. The commander of Operation Delta Safe, Rear Admiral Abubakar Al Hassan, appreciates the CDS for the visit and for always responding promptly to the needs of the JTF. Only about two weeks ago, the CDS was at the Nigerian Navy Shipyard Limited for Tarkot to launch four bombers for the OPDS. While on the same day, he awarded contracts uh, to the shipyard for the construction of six new ones for this operation. The Chief of Defense Staff proceeds to visit and encourage officers of 16th Brigade of the Nigerian Army, the Mobility Command Nigerian Air Force, and finally the Central Naval Command Headquarters, where he's given a warm reception. While he was at the headquarters of Mission Delta City, he addressed the personnel. Before then, he had, uh, had a meeting with uh, stakeholders the oil and gas sector. The primary reason why we see that is to hold the discussion or to address the officers. The CDS is also full of thanks to the people of the Nanja Delta region for the cordial working relationship with the security agencies over the years. Jesse is Plus TV News, Yenegua. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.